For the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC on Thursday announced a new case management guideline for the treatment and discharge of COVID-19 patients. Dr. Chikwe Yekoazu, Director General of NDC, made us known at the Presidential Tax Force on COVID-19 PTF media briefing in Abuja. Yekoazu said that the third version of the guidelines was released following the emergence of new signs about the duration of the ineffectivity of individual patients. According to him, symptomatic patients would now be discharged at least 10 days after symptom onset and at least three days without symptoms. According to him, physicians were hesitant about the new guidelines but assured them that the new guidelines were effective. The NCDC chief said the center had also removed the use of antivirus and chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine from its treatment guidelines. It said the antivirus would now be used only on trial setting and casually because its safety was uncertain. Joining us live is Dr. Okbaya Mia Dedeji, Registrar of Obstetric and Gynecology, Department of UCH Ibadan. Thank you, Doctor, for joining us on the news. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Where do we go from here as the numbers continue to increase? Yeah, we, as a matter of we are ready in the season of the community transmission. And you will notice very caref carefully that we're already having a tragic increase in the curve. And as a matter of fact, um, we, have, we are having increasing cases every day. Uh, the point is uh, we need to sensitize our communities the more. Now, it's a new life we have come into, and we need to learn how to live in the new life. Uh, most of the um, recommended uh, sanitary uh, principles we need to uphold are critical at this time. We're going to be uh, going back into our whole life gradually. We need to make sure that uh, we ensure social, social distancing. We ensure that um, uh, uh, adequate sanitizing uh, our hands and um, good hygiene techniques are ensured. Really, as a matter of fact, we may not be able to cope completely the COVID-19 pandemic for now, but we may be able to control uh, the transmission by our individual techniques. Uh, you will notice very carefully that even um, the NCDC has kept saying that the, the transmission reduction is, is most in the hands of the Nigerians. So we have to take uh, the boot by the horn by ourselves. We have to take responsibility for our lives, take responsibility for our actions, and make a difference. It's a gradual process. We're going to get uh, to flatten the curve in, 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 in a little while, but then, as a matter of fact, we must take careful precautions at this time. This is critical for us now. Now, what is your thought on the new guidelines set out by the NCDC for symptomatic and asymptomatic patients in terms of discharging them? All right. Um, yeah, you see, um, the COVID-19 uh, uh, virus, it's actually a novel virus. We have never had something like this before. And as a matter of fact, we are getting to learn things about it each day. So the new guideline, it's an updated, uh, it's, it's, it's a sign that we have an updated knowledge about the pathogenesis and pathophysiology of the virus. Uh, why? Because as it is now, if, if somebody had been asymptomatic for about 14 days, it's believed that the virus actually is no longer active in, that, in such an individual. So transmission obviously becomes almost impossible. Uh, yes, those, such an individual can still test, test positive. Why? Because there are still viral particles left in the body system. So it's, but transmission is actually not possible again. So the new guideline is actually in tune, in tandem with, uh, with, with reality of the evidences that we are finding out about the COVID-19 virus. Dr. Kwame, are there new information emerging regarding the nature of this virus? Yeah, um, yeah the, the, the uh, interesting thing that is coming up is actually the discovery of the fact that, one, the virus, the same strain of virus we have in Nigeria, I mean, we have in other parts of the world, it's still the same thing we have in Nigeria. So it's not a new strain, that one. Then important is the is what what uh, stimulated the change in the guideline. Because uh, they realized that keeping somebody um, in isolation for more than 14 days actually doesn't make any difference after 14 days. Because the reality is that the virus will have run its course, just like most viral infections that we have. They will run their course for their incubation period, and after that period, uh, the virus is almost indetectable in the blood, undetectable in the blood system. And what may be left are just viral particles, viral DNA that actually does not uh, allow uh, transmission. Finally, what can be done that is different from all the safety tips mentioned before? Yes, um, the, the, the new things I think we may need to do is the fact that 
activities are gradually um, coming up, I mean, restoring, coming back to uh, near normal as we used to have it before. We need to make sure that we don't return back to the whole life we used to live. Now, the reality is that activities are, are, are rising up in different parts of the country. We cannot but ensure that we keep social distancing at every of our activities. For example, we can no longer have our usual ceremonies in the, in the, in the book course where we used to have it before. We can no longer operate our school activities the way we used to operate it before. We can no longer operate our religious settings the way we used to operate it before. So there are modifications we need to bring in into our systems that will help to ensure that uh, we're able to curb the infection because the reality is that the virus is still going to stay a while with us. Uh, most of the viral infections, most of the pandemics, endemics that we have usually don't get uh, taken, over, uh, taken off immediately. They take a while before we gradually learn to live with it. Transmission will still keep going on, but it can be caught by ensuring that we review and renew our, acti our activities. Dr. Okwayami Adedeji, thank you for joining us on the news. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me.